In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can crop an image inside of Adobe Illustrator. So I want to crop this raster image. And as you can see here, there isn't really a crop option in your toolbar. Um, you do have, for example, the artboard option with which you can adjust your artboards, but that's not what I'm looking for. I want to crop this image. So when I select this image on top here in the toolbar, you can see that we get a button named crop image. And when I click this button, it says that it will embed the original because I have linked this image. I didn't embed it beforehand and the original file at the location from which we have linked it will not be affected. So then you click OK and you get this crop option. And here you can just move your crop around to where you want it to be. And when you're finished, you click apply and now your image has been cropped. In your layers window, you can see here, you still have the image uh, as of before. As you can see here, layer two, that's the same image as before. Here it's still linked. And because we cropped it here, we have now an image which is no longer linked because Illustrator embedded it for us so we could crop. If you're not happy, you can crop again like this and you can adjust things you want to do and then just click apply and Illustrator will crop it for you. This isn't the same as using a clipping mask. If I just show my other layer here and I make a rectangle, let's say I make a rectangle, something like this, and then I make sure that the rectangle is on top of my linked file, then I select everything and I choose create clipping mask. Then you can see here we have a clip group and in the clip group we have the rectangle and the linked file. So if we do not show the rectangle, we still have our linked file, it stays the same. Whereas here where you cropped it, you crop the image and of course the original image won't be changed, but this image here is changed. So you have added that crop and you cannot get the previous version of it back inside of Illustrator here without importing it again or Control Command Z to undo your previous steps. But that's how you can crop in Adobe Illustrator. Select your image and then in the menu bar here you can choose crop image and then you can crop the image. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. Be sure to press the thumbs up button if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I have new tutorials going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video. Stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.